clay for me has always been um, something I can always experiment with. I never get caught up in doing too much of the same thing. The first thing I do though when I start a piece is I start off with kind of asking myself a question. Like everything's about knowing myself to, to a further extent or questioning myself. So with the, the new voice I've been trying to come up with, I've always been kind of questioning myself during the process of, of creating a piece. Most of my work I would describe as more quiet instead of loud. Things that kind of let you walk up to them and, and they don't yell at you. They kind of are more, more subtle and I try to create them with the ability that you can kind of try and understand it. It's not going to scream at you and, or be way too abstract. Yeah, before I um, knew who Viola was, I um, actually didn't know anything about her. And then when I found her story, I found it really captivating. That talking with her children was really powerful for me because it um, inspired me to, to create something that really stood, that really stands for who she, she was. Um, and speaks to that, because I can never create something as beautiful as viola. So people always ask me what my favorite piece is, and I always say I haven't made it yet. I've made over 800 pieces since I started, and each one kind of, they kind of get me closer to the one I want to make, because as an artist, you always see things that are so amazing and so beautiful, and you're like, I wish I made that. And then you keep going, and then at some point, I think you can possibly, you know, create the one that other people will say, I, you know, I wish I made that. Make the one you wish you made. <laughs> 